Hey, what's up everybody? Marcus Naves here. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, you guys are here. We've been going over this great book right here. It's called Dot Com Secrets, written by Russell Brunson. It's the underground playbook for growing your company online. The foreword is written by Dan Kennedy himself. And Tony Robbins says this is a simple process that any company can use to geometrically improve their traffic, conversions, and sales online. So We've been reviewing this book. We've already done section one of this book, and we've gone over all of the secrets. So secret number one was the secret formula. Secret number two was the value ladder. Secret number three, we took that value ladder and turned it into a sales funnel. And then secret number four, we found out how to find our dream customers, all right? Secret number five was the three types of traffic that there are online. And then we got into section number two, where... We're getting into the communication funnels now. And secret number six was actually the attractive character that we went over in the previous video. Now we're getting into secret number seven, which is the soap opera sequence, okay? So we wanna be able to communicate with our new leads that we have, build that relationship with them right away, and be able to get them to trust us and and you know show them what to expect from us as we're gonna be emailing them throughout our business, okay? So we're gonna hop into secret number seven, which is the soap opera sequence. And if you haven't got your free copy of the Dot Com Secrets book, make sure you hit the link inside of the description of this video. You can get a free copy. Uh, all you have to do is pay $9.95 shipping and handling. Russell Brunson and his team is gonna send you a copy right away. You also have the opportunity to get not only dot com secrets over there, he has a trilogy of books. He also has expert secrets, which um is really shows you how to become an expert in the field and you know the really an attractive character of your business. And uh the third book is actually traffic secrets where he'll show you all the, the evergreen strategies he uses to get traffic to his funnel. So get your free copy of dot com secrets. We're going to go over to my computer right now and get started with secret number seven, which is the soap opera secrets. All right. So if you like this video so far, make sure you hit the like video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll go over to my computer now and get started. Let's go. If you're looking at the screen, it says secret number seven, the soap opera sequence. All right. When you're building your email list, it's an essential part that you start to really bond your attractive character to your customer list. All right. Otherwise, you're going to get all of these subscribers from Oprah in this picture right here. OK, they're going to subscribe from you. OK, so the first thing you want to do is quickly build a bond between your customer and your attractive character. The introduction is the key between a subscriber opening your emails to unscribing to your list. All right. So if you don't build that bond and that trust right away, people who join your list will unsubscribe for your list and then you you're going to end up losing them. OK, so use this soap, this soap opera sequence concept to build a more responsive list. OK, so this happens right in your email autoresponder. So as soon as they press submit and give you their email, um, you can put them right into your autoresponder and set up your soap opera sequence to go out, you know, immediately, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. OK, so what is a soap opera sequence? OK, so have you ever grown up, uh, you know, my grandmother and my father, they love soap operas are uh, have you ever you know sat and really watched a soap opera you have the bold and the beautiful you have general hospital that's what my dad loved general hospital you had days of our lives you had the young and the restless you had all my children you all had all of these different type of soap operas that basically are open-ended high drama shows that hook viewers and keep them coming back to find out what happens next all right Characters in the soap operas are always in trouble or getting out of trouble. They're always falling in love or they're breaking up with somebody. They're always going to jail or escaping jail or they're like dying and then all of a sudden magically reappearing. OK, so the soap opera sequence in your, our email, we want to be able to do the same thing. We want to be able to leave our customers with open, high ended drama hooks that are going to keep our viewers wanting to come back and read 
our emails day after day. OK, so how do we make this happen? OK, so here is an, uh, a picture from the dot com secrets book. Same exact picture, as you can see right here, where we're going to go over these five elements through to the soap opera sequence that you should be using in your autoresponder right away to where you can get people's attention, get them opening your emails and getting the clicks that you want to get when um, you have your customers going through your list. OK, so in day one, we want to make sure we're going to set the stage. All right. So this is basically like a thank you note for joining your list. It's like a welcome message joining your list. This sets the stage so your subscribers know exactly what to expect from you. All right. How often are you going to email them? What can they expect to see when you know you email them? Okay. So I'm going to give you an example of the day one email that Russell wrote inside of this book to give you an understanding of exactly how you set the stage. All right. In here, he says, hey, this is Russell. And I want to officially welcome you to my world. About 10 years ago, I started my first online business while I was in college selling potato gun DVDs. And this little hobby became my obsession. I started selling all sorts of things online and have become a student of marketing. My other businesses are where I test and try stuff out. Dot com secrets is where I share what I've learned. My goal is always to give away better stuff for free than what other people charge for. In fact, tomorrow I'm going to do just that. Yes, I'm going to let you go through my best, one of my best products for free and then only pay me if you think it's worth it. But only if you open the email when it comes. Yes, you heard me right. I want our relationship to start out great. So I'm going to wow you with so much value that you'll feel obligated to buy my stuff for me in the future. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Sound good? Cool. Then look for my email tomorrow. Thanks, Russell. Your new your new marketing buddy, Brunson. P.S. The subject line, uh, dot com secrets, chapter two of five, the day my education failed me. So look for it. OK, so in this message, Russell set the stage. He introduced himself. He said, welcome to my world. You know, um, dot com secrets is where, where I share my stuff. All right. He, he's just setting to the stage for them and he's telling them to look out for his email tomorrow where he's going to talk about the day his education failed him all right so now that was just the, the hook for the next day in order for his readers to come back all right so let's go over to day number two how can we set that stage okay the day number two is all about your high drama and your backstory all right this is where the story selling process begins any good story always starts at the point of high drama. If you think about, you know, some of your favorite movies or Netflix shows or um, events that you've been through to, it always starts with something crazy happening at the beginning. And then it goes back to how they got up to that particular point. Okay. So the same thing goes for day two of the soap opera sequence. Okay. We want to start our stories off on high drama, and then we want to hook them with the high drama and then tell our backstory of how we got there. So let me show you the example that Russell has in this book. OK, it says the day my ed education failed me. Remember, that was his subject line that he put in his first email that he said was going to be for a second email. So now they know exactly what to expect. OK. All right. So this is it says, how did I get here? I sat in the middle of a full auditorium feeling a little confused that after everything, it would all end here like this. I had been blindly following the status quo for 15 years, moving towards one goal, only to find out the whole thing was a lie. I looked to my left and looked to my right, and I saw hundreds of others in the same situation as me, only they had smiles on their faces. Didn't they know what was about to happen to us? It was Saturday. May 14th, 2005. It was the day I was finally graduating from college, the day my parents had told me about for years. You need to get a college education so you can get a good job. Sure, tonight there will be a lot of celebrating, but what about the next morning? 
that's when we all had the chance to meet the real world. And as quickly we found out this is not very nice or forgiving. For most of people who graduated with me, if they were able to find jobs, they only going into entry level jobs, making 30 or $40,000 a year, barely enough to cover their monthly payments for their student loans. Loans, which by the way, are non-dismissible, even if you declare bankruptcy. The change of debt in a job market that can't pay enough to cover the cost of education is what we inherited when we stepped into the real world. So when I looked around and saw them all smiling on graduation day, at first I was confused, not for me, but for them. Because for me, I knew what my next step was. Just two years earlier, I had stumbled on a cool way to take the things I was good at in my life and turn those things into a business. This was a business that had me had made me $250,000 my senior year in college and would go on to make me over a million dollars within just one year of graduation. Would you like to know how what I found out? Are you interested in how I was able to get my idea up and running with literally no money while I was going to school, wrestling, and spending time with my new wife? If so, then look for my email tomorrow. I'm going to show you the epiphany I had but more importantly, I'm going to explain how you can use it to get similar results in your life. So look for tomorrow's email. The subject line is chapter three of five expert secrets. Thanks, Russell. P.S. I almost forgot. I told you yesterday I was going to give you one of my best products for free. You can get it here, but please don't share it with anyone else. This is my face for my faithful subscribers only. All right. So. You know, Russell basically talked about his graduation day, but he started it off with the high drama of like he's looking around the auditorium like, man, I see all of these people happy and excited. But why are they so excited? They just graduated and they have all of this debt that they're going to they're going to have a job that doesn't you know, pay them enough money to even cover their student loans like. I, I, he feels sorry for them. That's a high drama. And then he goes into the backstory of the actual day of it being, you know, May 14th of 2005. And he goes into the graduation and then he leaves them on a hook where he talks about um, the day he had an epiphany um, and, and how he's going to tell them about that tomorrow. So he left that little open hook. You know, with the emotional drama, he, he uh, left them with the hook so they can be prepared to figure out what his epiphany was on the next day. All right. So let's go over to day three. All right. It's all about the epiphany we already talked about. OK, so you had an epiphany. You realized something that you hadn't thought about before. OK, so this is what the day three email is about. OK, so what was the moment that everything turned around for you and shifted? All right. What led back to your if, and we lead it back to our core offer. So inside of our email, we are leaving the link to go back to our core offer that we are selling them to solve their problem. All right. So for an example, it says my epiphany was I needed to build a list. And that's when I learned about sales funnels. OK, that could be an example. All right. I'm going to read you Russell Brunson's email real quick inside of this book just so you can go along with the story and you can see how the soap opera sequence is actually working and how you know he's getting his subscribers to you know respond and open his emails okay so um i was sitting in my college classroom doing the math and trying to figure out how much my college professor was making per hour I assumed he was making about $50,000 per year. My estimates may have been low or high. I have no idea. If he was working 40 hour weeks, then he was probably making about $25 an hour. I then looked at how to book. I then looked at a how to book I had bought the night before. I had paid $50 for the book and I thought it was awesome. I knew the person who wrote the book who's had said that he sells on average 100 copies of that book per day. 100 copies. I was doing the math and at $50 per book, he was making about $50,000 per day or $1.8 million per year. But the craziest part is the guy only spent a few days writing the book. 
it was 90% pictures and just 10% text. And when he was done, he never had to write it again. The book did the teaching for him. He was able to create it once and then get paid for it over and over again. That's when I realized I didn't want to sell my knowledge by the hour like my professor was doing. I wanted to sell it like this author. And so that's what I did. And by my senior year in college, I had made about $250,000. And within a year of graduation, I had made over a million. And I did this by focusing on one thing, selling my knowledge the right way. Would you like to know how I did that? If so, I just posted a video online that'll show you how I took $20 and a simple idea and turned it into a million dollar how-to business. I posted the video here. Go check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks, Russell Bronson. P.S. Tomorrow, I want to show you a few hidden benefits that being an expert would give you. Benefits you probably don't even know exist. Look for that email tomorrow. Okay? So... Russell Brunson basically talks, tells the story of his epiphany of how, you know, he was doing the math in the classroom with his professor trying to figure out how much money he was making. And, you know, he he did the numbers, did the figures. And then he looked at this other author like, oh, my goodness, he only taught, you know, had to write this book one time and he's making, you know, one point eight million. I'd rather choose that route. So he's he's um telling us about, you know, how he had the epiphany of like teaching something once and making money over and over and over again. OK. And then he left us with the hook of, you know, tomorrow I'm going to show you some hidden, hidden benefits that you didn't even know about. OK, so that's leaving him to, OK, what hidden, hidden benefits is he talking about that I don't know about? OK, I can't wait till tomorrow to open his email. OK, so that's what the hook at the end, you know, gets your uh customers to want to open your email the next day okay so let's go over to day number four where we talk about the hidden benefits okay so the hidden benefits point out benefits that the readers is getting that the reader is getting by knowing you following your plan or using your products okay so what other benefits do they have for being on your list? OK, you need to focus on the benefits that aren't as obvious. OK, so this will help you build a stronger bond with your uh, customers and your customers will build a stronger bond with your attractive character because you're going to be able to tell more about the attractive character and then, you know, maybe show them more flaws and things that they have in order to relate and build that stronger bond that you have. Okay. So for examples, it says, sure, you're going to make more money, but you'll also get more freedom to travel. All right. So you come into this home-based business, you come into this online you know, trying to make more money. But once you make more money, you're also going to have the benefit of being able to travel when you want to. OK, or you, if you, you know, sure, you're going to to lose weight, but you'll also live long enough to enjoy your grandchildren. OK, sure, you're going to be able to work from home. But did you realize you'll be able to take vacations whenever you want it? OK, so these are some of the hidden, hidden benefits that we want to be able to share with our customers so they can think like, oh, yeah, that is right. I mean, you know what I mean? So this is an example of what Russell wrote for his hidden benefits email. OK, it says when I first became an expert, I was concerned because I didn't have any credentials, degrees or anything. I just knew that what I showed people worked and I wanted to share it. But what caught me off guard was how helping people get what they want in life actually changed the quality of my own life. Sure, I started to make a lot of money, but more importantly, each person I helped open up the doors, open up new doors for me through my expert business. I've been able to travel around the world and meet cool people like Tony Robbins and Richard Branson. But the real hidden benefit has been the fulfillment I get when I see someone's else's, someone else changed his or her life. And that is what this business really is about for me. I'm guessing if you're here, then that's probably the same thing for you, too. Am I right? If so, then you need to sign up for my expert secrets course. Normally, I charge three thousand dollars to attend, but I'm going to do two cool things for you. I'm giving you a huge 90 percent discount. You're only going to pay if you like it. Yes, that's right. 
you get to come sign up, attend, get all of my best ideas. And if and only if you love it, will you pay? And if you don't like it for any reason, you're, you're getting it for free. Does that sound more than fair? Cool. Then go get your ticket for our upcoming event. It's happening this Thursday. Here's the link. Thanks, Russell. OK, so that's the email that he you know, gave an example for inside of this book. He's, he's giving all of these hidden benefits that um, come along with, you know, knowing him. He was able to, you know, hang out with Tony Robbins. He's learning things from Tony Robbins, Richard Branson, um, you know, just being able to help other people and see how it's affecting their life and changing their lives. I really, you know, changed his own life in a way to where, you know, it made him happier. Okay. So, you know, day four is all about the hidden benefits. What else, you know, is there that they can't obviously see. Okay. And let's go over to the last day of the soap opera sequence. Okay. So this soap opera sequence can be, you know, five days. It can be 10 days. It can be 20 days, however long you want wanted to go. Uh, but Russell gives uh, five um, basically emails that you should be using in your soap opera sequence to help, you know, push your customers to getting to know you and to start buying your products. OK, so the last one is all about urgency and call to actions. OK, so this is the last of the introduction emails. OK, so this is not the last email you send them at all. This is just the last introduction email. OK, and the goal is to give the reader one last push to take action right away. All right. So we want to be able to add urgency and use call to actions. OK, so your webinar starts tomorrow. You only have 10 spots left. You're taking the video offline soon. OK, but we want to be able to make sure that we're we're creating real urgency because if we create fake urgency, like saying, you know, um, your time is running out, but they still get time to actually do it, you know, down the road and you actually don't, you know, um, stop people from entering your course or stop people from um, going to the event, you know, you're going to lose all your credibility. So we want to be able to create that real urgency in order to help push our customer list, you know, to start taking action that day. Okay. So um, here's the example that Russell had in his uh, five day sequence, his last email. It says, I've been talking about expert secrets class this week and how you can get a ticket for free, but that special offer is going away today. Yes. If you read this email tomorrow, then I apologize because it will be too late. If you take this class later, you'll have to pay at least $300, but I might put it back up to its full ticket price of $3,000 by then as well. I haven't decided. But if you want to take me up on my try before you buy offer and go through the entire five and a half hour training before you spend a dime, then go get your ticket as soon as possible here. You've been warned. I don't want any emails tomorrow saying I didn't warn you. So go get your ticket and I'll see you in the training. OK, so he provided some urgency there. He's like, hey, I've been talking about this expert secret class all week. All right. It's time for you to go click on the link and, you know, take the five and a half hour training and get started. If you don't do it today, then you're going to have to pay three hundred dollars or maybe even three thousand dollars down the road. So I suggest you do it today. That's basically all this email is about, like creating that urgency, telling them, hey, make sure you go check out this this uh, expert secrets training. And, you know, I want to make sure that I get this in your hands. So this is for the people we want to be able to take action. And, you know, the, the people who are just, you know, on the fence or just slow at making decisions sometimes. OK, so. This whole entire sequence is the soap opera sequence. OK, so here are some email writing tips for you uh, when you're writing your soap opera sequence. OK, 
soap opera sequences are easy to read and scan. All right. We want to use one to two sentences per line. All right. We want to make sure we add in lots of white space inside of our emails. We don't want to use like long paragraphs because, you know, if it's something long like this, like a book, a lot of people, they won't read the emails. OK, so we don't want to use long paragraphs. OK, and you want to be able to use your personality or your attractive character personality and be able to entertain your list. All right. Uh, entertaining somebody who's entertaining will absolutely get more opens, get more clicks inside of their emails because they are actually entertaining their audience. So those are some great tips um, to think about when you're writing your soap opera sequence. All right. So that's your t uh, assignment for today is to create your soap opera sequence. Okay. We want to be able to set the stage, welcome them to our world, you know, give them a thank you for checking us out. All right. Then the next day we want to start with high drama and tell them about our story and uh, our backstory and where we came from and uh, why we got into the business that we're into. OK, what epiphany did we have is the next day. All right. Then day four are all about what are the hidden benefits that they might not even see. OK, what other things uh, being on your list can benefit them. OK, and then. Day number five is all about what urgency or scarcity can you add to your email in order to get them to click on um, your links. OK, so I want you to go start writing your soap opera sequence. OK, and if you haven't got your free copy of the dot com secrets book, make sure you click the link inside of the description of this video and go get your free copy. All you have to do is pay $9.95 shipping and handling. Okay. So when you purchase this book from our link, we're actually going to give you um, affiliate business in a box where you actually get the strategy. You'll get um, the website, the actual funnel, the membership funnel. You'll actually get the email swipe files that already have all of these templates. So all you have to do is fill them in. Um, you don't have to even write your own emails. There are already templates in there for you and you just fill in the little sections that you need to. All right. We're also going to show you the top offers that you need to be promoting as affiliate. And we're going to show you how to get traffic to your affiliate business in a box. OK, so go over, click the link, get your copy of the dot com secrets book. When you get your copy, we're going to send you over some bonuses. Um, to where you can get started with your affiliate business right away. If you got value from this video today, make sure you hit that like button. Also comment and let me know uh, what you thought about the video. And if you haven't yet, uh, please hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of affiliate marketing and network marketing strategies on this channel and talk about sales funnels, how to structure them and you know what types of strategies and techniques I'm using in my business to help grow my business as well. So hit that subscribe button if that's something that you are interested to interested in. I want to thank you guys for taking time to check out this video on the soap opera sequence. Um, go create your soap opera sequence. It's going to be a great way to, for you to bond and build a relationship with your customer list. All right. I want to thank you guys for watching and checking out this video. And remember, it's time to be the reason for your own success. Go get your free copy of the dot com secrets book. All right. Y'all take care.